happening again. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Jordan. Good to see you. <laughs> Hello, Santa. I love seeing you here on my channel. <laughs> yes. I feel very lucky to, to meet you today. <laughs> Oh, tell me, how has your Christmas season been? Are you getting tired yet? Oh, it's been lovely. After such a hard year, Jordan, so many people have had such a hard time this year. I you know, know, a lot of people have lost loved ones um, because of the pandemic. Um, a lot of kids have been inside. They haven't been able to see their friends or their grandparents or celebrate birthdays, or have pool parties. Um, you know, they've had to go to school inside their homes, which is, uh, you know, just forced them inside a lot. Yeah. But it's been nice to hear how they've all been persevering and coloring a lot and playing with toys and sharing laughs and love inside the home. It's been wonderful seeing all these kids and how strong they are and how good they've been. Yes. Yeah, so it's been a wonderful oh, time for me. Oh, that's so wonderful. And then do you have, I'm sure you have many, many, but do you have a particular story of somebody that you connected with that just touched your heart this year? Well, I have a um, story time that I do. Um, I just started this month. So every Tuesday in December, I did um, read some special stories, had some singers. But every day I woke up and I wrote a poem uh, because I feel that Christmas is about community. It's about inclusion. And it's about literacy. So it's important for me to let the kids know that if they're feeling big emotions, that they can write them down in our own little story. And that always helps me feel better. So I wrote this poem and I'll share it with you right now. How's that? I'd love that. So I woke up early today, excited to see the kids and grown-ups coming to visit me. We all share one thing and that's why we're here to celebrate each other and share Christmas cheer. Now I'm just like you. I have fingers and toes. I talk to my friends. I watch TV shows. <laughs> I also have magic that shines when I giggle. <laughs> my ho ho hoes can feel like a tickle. <laughs> I want you to close your eyes and think of a hug. Squeeze them real tight till your shoulder top shrug. Now when you've pushed up your cheeks and your teeth start to shine, when you think of a hug, what's the color you find? Is it blue? Is it red? Is it green like the trees? When you think of a hug, does your brain start to freeze? <laughs> well, Santa's like that. I'm a hug in your mind. When you think of me, close your eyes like you're blind. It's not the color you see. It's what you feel in your heart. That warm Christmas love. Well, that's the best place to start. The same goes for friends. Well, they can be tall, small, or round. <laughs> they can make you laugh out loud or even make funny sounds. Their skin may be different, but they may not speak just like you. They may have one mama, one daddy. They may have none, or maybe even two. <laughs> so the thing I want to make sure that you know is you're special. I want you to know, <laughs> hold on a second. So the one thing I want to make sure you know, if you feel special or different, that's okay. And let it show. <laughs> oh. Oh, so that just made, you know, I was so inspired by all the kids and, and all their grownups. And um, it was important that I let them know how special they are. Um, all of them. Oh, Santa, that is just the greatest thing I've heard in a long, long time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, you touch my heart. You're like oh, Mr. Goodness. Rogers, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> you just... What a beautiful thing to want everyone to know that the way that they're special is so important. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. 
I love your message so, so very much. Oh my goodness. Yep, it's been important. You know, I think, you know, I think a lot of kids, you know, we tell kids that um, we want them to be good. And we tell them that uh, they need to be kind and compassionate and it's good to laugh and love out loud, you know? And I think it's important that they see themselves reflected and uh, represented in order to embrace that uh, message for themselves. So it's been very important this year that I make myself seen so they can see themselves in me as well. Ah, uh, yes. Oh man. Oh yes. You're just, oh my gosh. Talk about Christmas cheer and just bringing the joy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so yes. much for that. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, I feel so glad that I was inspired to reach out to you. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> oh, really, really. And I've I had to learn how to do this whole computer thing. I I've know. got a whole team of elves that have been working tirelessly to help me figure it out. I just learned about emails. <laughs> uh, this this Christmas, and I've gotten so many letters from so many kids um, to tell me about what they'd like for Christmas and how their how their year's been going. Here's one from a little a little girl named Leela. I don't know if you can see that, oh, but yeah. all Leela wanted was for kindness and equality this year. Oh, and I just thought it was so beautiful to see that. Oh, uh, she's what? only four years old. <laughs> only four years old? Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Do we have a wonderful future ahead of us? <laughs> we certainly do. A strong future. It's my mission to make sure that kids know they can be leaders now. Yes. Not to wait for someone to give them permission. I give you permission now to be leaders and make sure that you follow what we do up here. In the North Pole, what we say is make sure your community is doing okay. So I want to make sure that all the boys and girls and children across the world, that they know that their community is much bigger than what they see right outside their front door. It's a whole world of kids just like them that they're going to have to rely on to uh, to help us get through all the years ahead. Oh, my, yes. Oh, gosh, yes. My goodness, you are <laughs> unsurprisingly very quotable, sir. <laughs> <laughs> they should make Christmas cards with all this good stuff you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. I'll get my merchandise elves on that for next year. <laughs> I know. I, I I don't doubt that. That is a good plan. That is a good plan. Oh, my. And as you say, it takes a village. It takes a whole community. And you showing your gratitude for all those elves and all your helpers that have helped uh, bring your message to light. Um, I say thank you to them, too, because without them and without any presence and without you being seen and known, I would not have come upon you. And I am so grateful that I did. Oh, good. Oh my, I just feel like a, I do. I feel like a giddy little kid who gets to keep just like hearing from Santa all the wisdom. And I just, that, that, uh, that poem really, really was so beautiful. And I wonder if maybe you might send me the words Absolutely. that I could actually, uh, I could put in the description underneath our video so people mm -hmm. could revisit it. I would really mm -hmm. love that. Well, and it sounds like I probably know the answer to this because I think your poem probably expressed it, but is there something Santa, everyone tells you what they want for Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? Well, that that is what I want. I want the children of this world to know that they're special, know that they're loved, and know that they're stronger than they may think. And it's important that they, they reach down into themselves and they respect themselves and they respect other people inclusion is very important that's the only way a strong community is built is through allowing other people to have space to be themselves oh. and um i think beyond that i love i love hearing children reading i love it when they 
when they want to pick up a book and read and learn to read and read to other people, literacy and education are the best gifts anybody can receive. And uh, so it's very important to me that they, they get that message. And that's what brings me so much joy, honestly. Oh, my goodness. Well, I hope and wish that you get uh, that Christmas present uh, <laughs> and more. I, 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 but I see you bringing it about. And that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, would you maybe tell me if, uh, and you've given me so many beautiful words, but I've been asking my other magical messengers today, um, if you could think of one word perhaps that might embody the Christmas season for you, what might that be? Community. Ah, oh, I love it. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Santa, what a gift it was to talk to you today. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. And you have the best ho, ho, ho and the best laugh. I, I mean, it's not a competition, but man, do you just delight me when I hear you. <laughs> it starts down in the belly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's good for us all to remember that we need to right. belly laughs and we need to be able to let that be be seen and heard. And I love that. Um, if you could just uh, give us a little send off and a Merry Christmas and a ho, ho, ho to the Discover Me TV viewers and anyone who may be seeing you this season, I would love that. Absolutely. All you Discover TV folks. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. Thank you. Oh, to anybody watching Discover Me TV and finding me or on my personal pages. Oh, my goodness. Just join me in thanking Santa for joining us today. And I wish you a beautiful, beautiful Christmas. Um, Same to you, Jordan. Thank you for all you have done and you're about to do for children That's all right. around the world, sir. <laughs> I've been in training. Now time to really step it up into high gear. <laughs> yeah. I know you've got big days ahead, but I know that you will love them. So thank you again and Merry okay. Christmas to you. Bye. Bye-bye.